Harkening back to earlier times of Columbia County, and I find the trains very romantic. I find several of them very compelling. They draw you right in. I came here because I wanted to see his new work. I think the prints are fantastic. I, I really think it's beautiful. It's very poetic and very reminiscent of Gerard's poetry. It's one of the things I love about the show. So tell me how architecture for art happened. Well, architecture for art began as an idea, and then it quickly became a website, and then it needed to get physical, because it's all about art and space and how they interact, and so there needed to be a space. So we found a space here in Hillsdale, and uh, Leanne Torrey put it together. We've had about nine shows, and um, it was interesting finding artists that cared about architecture, and architects that were responsible or responsive to art and um, and now we're looking for bigger spaces and you're looking for a bigger space yeah, we're looking for bigger spaces we want to have shows that are in spaces that are meant to be used that way you know by great architects with Gerard Malanga's show it's a very Columbia County centric show which is interesting how does it feel to have that kind of show where you're really reflecting something that uh, goes into Columbia County's history. It's true, and part of the, the wonder of architecture for art is that museums do have a history, um, towns have a history, and where museums are built, it changes the town. Where galleries start to pop up, it changes the town. So a lot of things happen on an urban planning level with building and art. And so when Gerard said he had this show, and he thought it was very specific to urban planning and the changes of Columbia County and the historic part of Columbia County. He asked if we would do the show because he, it, he thought it fit into the realm of what we were doing. And I think that's true. 